Do you have a unique way to decorate Easter eggs? Let us know how you do it. You can send us a Facebook message or upload pictures of your eggs to report it on fox11online.com. And we're sharing a lot of ideas right now. Duct tape, lace, just some of the things you can use to decorate Easter eggs. Michelle Hillbrand joins us with some of the ideas that she came up with this year. Just a few because you came up with a lot, didn't you? Yes, there was a lot. Michelle uh, raises chickens in Amro and she has a blog. You can follow her on Cherry Blossoms and Chickens. Yep. And you talked a little bit about the eggs, right? The wooden eggs that yep. you're using. But you could use real eggs. You could hard boil eggs. Yep. Okay. Any kind of eggs you want. You just don't want to get rid of these. When you spend no. so much time on them, you kind of want them to stick around for a little <laughs> while. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so the first idea is one I've been meaning to do because I love chalkboard paint. You can yep. use it in so many different ways and you used it for eggs. Yep, and spray paint works better than painting it. Okay. Because you can buy chalkboard paint both ways, but spray paint. Yeah, so if you, if you, whatever you have, try it on eggs and then you can write messages on there and then wipe them off and next year write something new, put it, the kids' names on there and add it right to the Easter basket. Isn't that just darling? Yeah, you can do anything. So that's a super cute idea. What's here under your cloche? Um, I just found some, I went to the fabric area and found some neat embellishments and just kind of wanted to go with the vintage shabby chic it's look. It's kind of shabby chic looking. Yeah. Very yeah. cool, and that would be great as a centerpiece. Yeah, and this is just a fishbowl from the thrift store. And Upside down. And a piece of hardware. Yep. Oh, you, did you attach that on top of it? Yeah, I just went to the restore, found an old handle, and threw Aren't it on top. fancy? And then you just used some of the, look at that, like a it little looks, tool ribbon or yeah, something looks there? looks like a little and tutu. Some, and beads? Very yep. cute. Yep. Okay, now this seems a little bit more uh, doable with the kids. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to give the chevron look without painting it on. And okay. so I just picked up some rickrack from, again, the fabric department. Oh, right there. And Did you use hot glue? Mm -hmm. Regular glue? What just, do you use? I just use hot glue, but okay. you could use regular glue if you don't want to worry about that with the okay. kids. Okay, so yep. paint it, rickrack, and there are your very artistic looking eggs. These are some of the favorites here in the studio. <laughs> I love this one. Feathers on, a, on an egg is pretty yeah, cool. And right. then you embellished it. Yeah, I just had some silver wire laying around from a metals class that I had taken and some beads. And that one was just kind of, I just kind of messed around until I came up with something. So yeah, don't be shy about trying something out of the box because you never know what you'll come up with. Yeah, like if you, if you do jewelry, you have yeah. all that stuff laying around anyway, so just put it to your Easter eggs. And your steampunk version here is quite special. I just was introduced to the whole steampunk movement. Okay. And it kind of intrigues me. I don't know that I would decorate with it personally, but I just I picked up some little gear things from um, the scrapbooking area and then found some old beads and it's really, really we had cool. this laying around so I just yeah all right <laughs> very very cool we got inspired from that now let's do a little sure. crafting here sure so this one I did with just again scrapbooking uh, I just took one of the you can buy these embellishments okay and I just cut out sections of them right on the sheet you peel it off okay And then you just stick it on your egg. So, uh, moral of the story is: go to your craft, craft, or your scrapbooking supplies and just bin look at around. home and yeah. take a, and add them to Easter eggs. So you can just, and then you can just cut different sections of them and apply it all the way around sure. until I'm you're done. Set that one next to here, so people can see what yep. you've done. That okay. one is so easy. Again, kids, yeah, very, very kid friendly. Very cool. Very very cool. Okay, and finally, duct tape. Yes. So I wanted a zebra stripe one, but I thought painting it on would be ridiculous. Okay. So I found this. Um, sheet of duct, duct tape. tape. You can use regular duct tape as well. I just cut it into strips. <laughs> Michelle found these wooden eggs online and we're going to put a link to that on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. We will also link her blog, Cherry Blossoms and Chickens. So yeah, you but you could hard boil eggs and do this too. You could blow out the Easter your eggs and save it forever, year yep. after year. And look at how cool that is. Yep. And if you don't have duct tape, you can cut strips of strips of fabric and use fabric. the Mod Podge or white glue. Perfect. Just paint it over. Yep. Thanks, Michelle. You're Happy welcome. Easter. Happy Easter to you too. Oh, I love all these ideas. Now